The Joe Lynn Braley Show, Episode 42, Get Real, Episode Number 10, New Diet Every Monday Syndrome. And welcome. This is JoLynn Braley, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, and this is the JoLynn Braley Show. Join me on today's show as I go beyond the food to the real issue your mindset. Yes, mindset is 90% of the solution if you would love to achieve permanent success with your weight. If you would love to end all of your unhealthy, overeating, compulsive, obsessive behaviors with food, and if you would love to end all of your struggles with your weight and finally become one of those people who can eat just one, one of those people who enjoy living a healthy lifestyle, one of those people who actually like themselves and love their body and have a healthy relationship with food, a healthy relationship with themselves. If you'd love to become the you that you've always known you could be, then what you've got to do is address what is 90% of your current problem. You must heal the root of why you became overweight in the first place. There's a reason why or reasons why you got out of balance in the first place and began abusing food. That is how you gained all of the weight that you are carrying. If you never address that, then it doesn't matter how many diets you do because the emotional eating will never go away. The binge eating will never go away. The compulsive overeating will never go away. You'll still be yo-yo dieting. You'll still be stuffing yourself. You'll still be beating yourself up mentally and emotionally, living in perfectionism, black and white thinking, sabotaging yourself, all of those negative things that drag you down. So, this does mean that diet and exercise is only 10% of the solution. Yes, and you probably don't need me to tell you these things. You've already proven it to yourself with all of the diets you've done that never ended your overeating behaviors. Now today's topic is New Diet Every Monday Syndrome and this is Get Real episode number 10 of the year. What is a Get Real episode? Well at the beginning of the year I said that each month I would do at least one Get Real episode for you each month and that is what I have continued to do and a Get Real episode is all about helping you to get really real with yourself and what you're doing to yourself right now. Because until you get real with where you are and the results that you're living and the behaviors that you continue to do that never end, until you get real with what's going on today, you're never going to get to where you want to go. It would be the same thing as if you wanted to take a trip to Cancun, Mexico, and you needed to fly there because let's say that you live on the east coast of the United States. So then you call up the airline and you say, I need a ticket to Cancun, Mexico, and they ask you, okay, what airport are you flying out of? And you say, I don't know, I'm, I'm just in Cancun. Oh, okay, well then why are you calling us? Well, I need to get a ticket to go to Cancun because I don't know how to get there, but I'm already there in Cancun. Everything is great. Oh, well, then how can I help you? The airline reservationist says. Well, I, I need a ticket. I need to get to Cancun. I don't know how to get there. Okay, well, where are you flying from? You need to tell me where you're starting from. Well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. Everything is wonderful and I don't have any problems with food or my weight and I'm already in Cancun but I need a ticket to get there because I don't know how to get there. 
Do you see how how silly that sounds? And that's what you do to yourself when you tell yourself right now that things aren't that bad, that yes, you want to live in the body of your dreams, but you're not there, but you keep telling yourself that you are, but you're not taking specific action to change your mindset to heal the root of why you became overweight in the first place. You're not taking specific action to do the things that will get you the struggle-free permanent success with your weight. And those things are not about the diet. They're not about the food diet. Those things are about the inner self diet. And the inner self diet is my proven proprietary step-by-step system to struggle-free permanent success with your weight. It is the system that I personally mentor and coach and guide my clients through in real time. I work with them to help them transform at a core level on the inside so that they actually get the mindset that they must have in order to live healthy and fit on the outside without forcing themselves, without struggle, without trying to find more motivation that never lasts, without making another New Year's resolution, because none of those things, the forcing, that never works, does it? I mean, you've, you've already proven that to yourself. How many diets exactly have you done? So grab pen and paper right now if you don't already have it, and you can pause this podcast in order to get it, because I have questions for you to write down and then answer the questions on paper for yourself. And if you only listen to me and you don't write the questions down and then write down the answers, you will not get nearly the benefit out of this podcast. And why not get as much out of it as you possibly can? It is a free podcast after all. And it's it's certainly not anything like working with me as a client because then we have real communication together. But you can certainly take advantage of this this free podcast here and write down the questions and write down your answers. And before we get to this topic of New Diet Every Monday Syndrome, just a little bit of background about myself, about why you should even be listening to me. There is podcast number one of the JoLynn Braley Show, which was broadcast and published in January 2013, in which I focused on who am I and what is the JoLynn Braley Show all about. You can listen to that. Also, you can find out more at fearlessfatloss.com. And while you are at fearlessfatloss.com, you can grab my free five-day e-course that I have available on there. And that will help you learn more about what has really been stopping you from losing weight for good and what you can do about it. And then you can also read my About page on fearlessfatloss.com. And you will read that I am a certified master NLP practitioner and certified master coach. And I have taken all of my knowledge and all of my skills and all of my training and also my personal experience throughout my lifetime because I have been where you are. I have struggled with food and my weight and I know how bad that feels and I know how frustrating it is and I know what it's like to feel so bad about your overweight and your inability to stop eating. So I have founded the Inner Self Diet, which is the solution to all of that. And it always works. There is another podcast available, which is titled, Why the Inner Self Diet Always Works. And you can also listen to that. And that came out a couple weeks ago. Additionally, one of the reasons that the Inner Self Diet always works is because it is based on universal laws. And... You cannot change the laws of this universe. You can change yourself to get in alignment with how this universe works. And that is one of the purposes of the Inner Self Diet. Additionally, the Inner Self Diet always works because you were not born an overeater. You were not born doing a new diet every Monday. 
which is what today's topic is about. You were not born a compulsive overeater. You were not born obsessed with food. You were not born an emotional eater. You were not born addicted to food or addicted to sugar. You were not born as a self-saboteur. You were born completely in love with yourself, completely at peace with yourself. You totally loved your body. You loved everything about yourself. You were completely content and feeling just fantastic about you. And then somewhere along the way, some well-meaning adults sold you a bill of goods that you believed and you got off track. And here you are today, unable to stop eating, unable to lose weight and keep it off, Feeling afraid of food, feeling afraid of your weight, feeling afraid that if you eat this, then you're going to gain weight, and if you don't eat that, then you'll never lose weight, but you really don't want to eat that, and you'd rather eat this, and why don't I just eat this right now, because then tomorrow I'll just suddenly change and be different. And especially on Monday, it's all going to be better. There's no reason for me to start anything new today, is there, because, oh, it's Friday, or, oh, it's Wednesday, or it's Monday night and I already screwed up today, so I'll start again next Monday. What kind of results are you getting from living how you are today? This is Get Real episode number 10, and here is your first question to ask yourself when it comes to this topic, today's topic of new diet every Monday syndrome. First question, exactly how many times Per year, do I tell myself that I will start again on Monday? And write that number down. There are 52 weeks in a year. How often each year do I tell myself I will start again on Monday? And more than likely, that number will be 52 or 50. Maybe you take couple of weeks off here and there telling yourself that you're not going to do anything at all because you're going to go on that cruise and then you just can't help yourself from overeating so I, I already know I'm going to gain 10, 20 pounds and then I'll just lose it when I come back and then you tell yourself you'll start again on Monday and then it just never gets you anywhere, does it? But you can look at this for yourself right now. Your second question to ask yourself on this topic of new diet every Monday syndrome is Exactly how much do I weigh today? Exactly how much do I weigh today? And write that number down. Third question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy am I with my body? 1 is I can't stand it. 10 is I'm absolutely orgasmic thrilled. Orgasmically thrilled with my body, with my weight, with how I look and my clothes with everything about my body. On a scale of 1 to 10, exactly how thrilled, how happy am I with my body? These questions, the purpose, the purpose of these questions, they are to help you get real with where you are right now so you know where you're starting. And if you don't get real with where you are now, then you just stay in la-la land and you continue to tell yourself every week that Monday will be different. Let's look at this new diet every Monday syndrome. It's pretty easy to figure out already, isn't it, with the questions that you've written down. New diet every Monday syndrome is when you tell yourself every week or almost every week, maybe there's a couple weeks out of the year that you don't do this because you go on vacation and you certainly don't want to eat healthy on vacation, right? And you don't want to do a diet. You continually tell yourself that you'll start again on Monday, that you'll suddenly change on Monday, that things will be different Monday, that you'll get a fresh start on Monday. You also do this with the first day of each month. You definitely do this on New Year's Day. You set a big New Year's resolution about all of these massive changes that you're suddenly going to make and you're going to just find this motivation that you're finally going to get the weight off. And then January 1st comes and then you tell yourself, oh, well, 
today's a holiday. I don't want to diet today, so I'll start tomorrow. And then you realize that January 2nd isn't a Monday, but you tell yourself, well, I'll, I'll, I'll power through anyway. And then you might get through that day, or maybe you'll get through the next day, and then you'll falter, and then you'll say, well, I'll have to start again on Monday. It's okay, I'll just start Monday. We're still fresh into the new year. And then you go at it again the next Monday with attempting to force yourself and use your willpower and make yourself be this healthy person on the outside, which is only 10% of the solution. 10% of the solution to getting the body that you want is how you eat and exercise. So here you are trying to force yourself to be this healthy, wonderful person. Not that you're not wonderful. I'm sure that you are in many ways. But you're trying to force yourself to be this person who enjoys living a healthy and fit lifestyle when 90% of the problem is on the inside and you've never addressed that. Or if you have addressed it, maybe you bought some self-help books but didn't read them, or you did a couple little exercises here and there in a notebook, but you haven't ever healed the core root of this problem. What would it be like for you? Here's a good question to ask yourself. Write this down. What would my life be like if I no longer had to struggle with food, with overeating, with stuffing myself, with emotional eating, with self-sabotage? What would my life be like if I actually enjoyed food in a healthy way? If I wanted to eat a cookie, I'd have just one cookie. What would it be like if I ate only when hungry and stopped when full? What would it be like if I really liked my body? What would my life be like? It's a great question to ask yourself and then make a list of all the specific results that you would be living in your life right now if you were 100% happy with your body and your relationship with food, which means that you would have a healthy relationship with yourself because that's where everything begins. And I'm sure you'll need to pause this podcast to make that list because you want to address all of the major areas of your life. You want to address your finances, your family. Family are relationships, so not just immediate family, not just children or your spouse, but any relationships in your life. Fitness, of course, that's your level of fitness, your body, your health, your ease of movement, And faith. Faith is the area of spirituality. Address all four of those major life areas and how would each of these life areas be different if you were 100% happy with yourself. If you could get up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, I really like you. Look at how cute you are. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy with you. I'm so happy to be you. If you could stop comparing yourself to anyone else on the planet, if you could be so thrilled to be yourself, and I'm not saying that you have to be thrilled being obese or overweight and stay there. You can have the body of your dreams. But you've got to address 90% of the problem first, and that's all on the inside. By the way, before we go any further, if you would love to actually be done with this ongoing problem of telling yourself that every Monday things are going to be different, and suddenly you'll change, suddenly my prince will come on Monday. I'll change. It'll all just go away because it's Monday. When clearly you can see that it's never worked. If you would love to actually have the results in your life. Actually live the results of freedom from the struggle. Then your first step is to apply for a complimentary weight loss discovery session. And where you can do that is at discovery hyphen session dot com 
You'll see an application on that page, and that is an application for a complimentary call with me, JoLynn Braley. And we will talk on the phone, and I want to find out what it's like for you to be where you are right now and what it would be like for you if you could end this stress, end the worry, end the fears, end the struggle with the never-ending problems with overeating, with food obsession, with your overweight, the yo-yo dieting, all of that. And your first step, once again, that is to apply for that complimentary weight loss discovery session at discovery-session.com. So why do you do this to yourself? Why do so many millions do this where you're stuck in this new diet every Monday syndrome? One of the reasons is because your mindset is FAT, It's grounded in fear-attracting thoughts. When your mindset is fat, then your behaviors will be fat. So you asked yourself already, exactly how many times per year do I tell myself that I will start again on Monday, that things will change on Monday, that I'll start a new diet on Monday? And you wrote that number down on your paper. Now, multiply that number times the number of years you have been struggling with this problem with overeating and overweight. How do you know when it all started? It's very easy to discover just as you travel back in time right now through your memories and you go back to the first memories that you have of being a small child and then come back up to the first memories you remember of any kind of struggle with food or your weight. And you might not have even been overweight, but you thought you were fat or you were overweight and somebody told you that you needed to go on a diet or adults were telling you that you needed to stop eating what you were eating. All these different negative feelings and thoughts that came up for you, it's easy for you to find that memory. And notice how old you were then. How old were you when you first started having body image issues or feeling bad about yourself? thinking you weren't good enough, that you needed to be thinner, or that you you weren't eating right, or you needed, needed to do a diet. I know someone who is much older now, who has been struggling her entire life with food and her weight. She's not a client, and she doesn't want to change. That is a place that if you don't want to change, at least... When you recognize it and know that you don't want to make any changes, that you don't want to get a weight loss mindset, then at least acknowledge that about yourself and accept that, okay, as long as I'm not willing to change and heal the root of why I became overweight in the first place, why I became obsessed with food in the first place, as long as I know that I'm not willing to make any changes, then I have to take full responsibility for that fact. Because you are the only one who creates your reality. You are the only one who creates your results in your life. You are the only one who can control your mind and your emotions. Those are the only things you can control, in fact. You can only control yourself. You can only control what you think and how you feel. You have no control over anything that is outside of you. So if you are like this woman that I'm telling you about and you know that you don't want to make any changes and you'd prefer to just keep doing diets, then at least accept that about yourself. You've got to take full 100% responsibility for it because it's not anyone else's fault. And this woman, she knows that all of her problems started when she was 16 years old She was not overweight, but her and her best friend had heard about this new diet that was called a miracle diet, and they thought it would be great to lose weight and be even thinner. That's where her whole struggle started. And she knows that if she'd never dieted, ever, then she wouldn't be having problems today. But she can't stop overeating. She's even going to Weight Watchers today, and she continues to gain weight every week. 
But at least she's aware, at least she knows why she's getting the results that she's getting, and she knows that she doesn't want to change. I sincerely hope that you are not in that position because you deserve better. And yes, I completely understand that you don't have any idea of how to heal the root of your lifelong battles with food and weight. And that is why the quickest and easiest way to get to where you want to go is to just hire a professional mentor and coach and allow them to help you get to where you want to be so that you can get there in just a very short amount of time instead of wasting years of your life like I did telling myself for over 20 years that I could figure it out on my own. And that never worked. So what we were doing there is you identified how old you were as a child when you first started having any struggles with food and your weight. Now on your paper, write down your current age and then write down the age you were as a child when you first started struggling and subtract the two and then circle that number and that tells you how many years this problem has been going on. And this is why, this is one of the reasons why you've never been able to solve it on your own. It's just too big, it's too unwieldy, and it continues to grow in momentum every day, every week, every year that it goes on without being healed. And the reason that I gave you this exercise is because now you can take that number of the number of years that this problem has been in existence and multiply it by the number of times that you tell yourself in a year that you're going to change on Monday, that you'll just do another diet on Monday. And look at the number you get for Get Real episode number 10 and see what that tells you. How is this working for you? Maybe you're familiar with Einstein's definition of insanity, which is continuing to do the same things over and over again while expecting a different result. How do you get a different result from an action that has never given you that result and you've done the action over and over and over again? If doing a new diet every Monday or telling yourself that you're going to start your diet again on Monday if that has never ended your emotional eating, your food obsessions, stuffing yourself, compulsive overeating, binge eating, night eating, yo-yo dieting, self-sabotage, food obsessions, sugar addiction, if it's never ended those unhealthy behaviors, then what would make you think that doing another diet again on Monday would give you a different result? And notice what your ahas are that you're getting out of today's episode. Clearly, new diet every Monday syndrome, it doesn't work, does it? And so you need to identify for yourself exactly what the results are that you would love to be living in your life. And then your, another question to ask yourself now, and you can write this down and write down your answer. What exactly is my specific game plan? What is my specific proven step-by-step -step system that will get me from where I am now to bring me to where I want to be? What is that plan? What is that system? How am I going to do this? More than likely you don't know how because if you did wouldn't you have already done this 5, 10, 20, 30 years ago? You'll also notice that when you identified how old this struggle is for you, that there could have even been years throughout your life where you did lose weight and you kept it off for a certain amount of time, maybe a year, maybe two years, but it always, you know, it came back. What that tells you is that the root of the problem was never healed. So you need to have a specific game plan that will heal that root. Now what if you're telling yourself right now, oh well that's nice, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go lose weight 
and then I'll address the 90% of the problem because I do know, I've known this for quite a while, that this is an inner problem. But I just need to lose weight. I gotta get this weight off. I gotta get it off right now. I gotta lose 10 pounds in 10 days. I gotta do it now. I gotta have fast fat loss. Exactly how many times have you done a fast fat loss diet? What are the results you have gotten? Write that question down. Exactly how many times have I done a fast fat loss diet? And how much do I weigh today? Also write down the date that you did those that fast fat loss diet. Write down the dates if you've done fast fat loss diets more than once. Because what that will show you is how long fast fat loss really takes. Because let's say that you did a fast fat loss diet back in 2010, three years ago. Well, that means that that fast fat loss has taken more than three years because you still haven't achieved permanent success with your weight. If you did lose weight with that fast fat loss diet three years ago, you didn't keep it off. And there's a reason why you didn't. It's because you don't have the 90% taken care of on the inside. One of the universal laws that all of us live under is the inner and the outer always match. You can't force yourself to become something on the outside that you first are not on the inside. You have to be that person on the inside that would live the healthy fit lifestyle on the outside in order for the healthy fit lifestyle to be easy for you. Okay, so I expect that new diet every Monday syndrome with today's topic of Get Real episode number 10, I expect that this has really helped you to open your eyes to the results that you're living in your life. Because when it comes down to it, isn't it really all about the results that you have? Would you rather keep telling yourself that Monday things will change and then have another year go by and another two years go by and another five years go by still living with the same problems, still obsessed with food, still feeling like you're, you know, you're never good enough, you, you can never get the weight off and keep it off, still feeling like a failure at weight loss, would you rather keep doing it like you've been doing it and living the results that you're living or would you rather end that now, end the struggle and replace the struggle with ease and joy, replace the struggle with a healthy lifestyle that you enjoy living, replace the struggle with a a new you who actually really likes you. Replace the struggle with a you who is happy to be you. The you who loves your body. The you who lives in the body of your dreams. Which would you rather have? What you're doing now or the results of struggle-free permanent success with your weight? Okay, let's take a quick commercial break. And today's sponsor of the JoLynn Braley Show is 31 Days of Loving Yourself Thin.com. Go to 31 Days of Loving Yourself Thin.com if what you're looking for is an immediate action step you can take on your own to begin loving yourself thin. And you can do that now at 31 days of loving yourself thin.com. Okay, let's look at what you learned today and do a quick recap and wrap up the show. What you learned today is what new diet every Monday syndrome is. It's actually pretty easy to figure out. It's when you tell yourself continually every week that Monday is going to be different. You tell yourself that 
oh, it's almost the weekend, so I certainly don't want to start a new diet now. I'll start again on Monday. And because Monday is a fresh start, things are going to be different. You also learn that there's a reason why doing another diet on Monday or telling yourself that you'll start again on Monday, there's a reason why that's never worked for you. And the reason is because you are attempting to change and solve a problem that is really big and really old with only a teeny tiny tiny itty bitty part of the solution which is the 10 percent the 10 percent is the diet and the exercise you have not done the 90 percent you have not addressed the 90 percent and until you do achieve and experience actually experience a core transformation on the inside of you make a radical shift on the inside of you heal the root of why you became so obsessed with food in the first place heal the root of your overeating heal the root of your food obsessions and your emotional eating your binge eating until you heal the root of why you became overweight in the first place how you got so off balance and off track until you heal that root nothing you do on the outside will last because it can't there's a reason why you started behaving the way you do and you don't have to behave the way you do. You don't have to be obsessed with food. You don't have to be an overeater. You don't have to be a stuffer. You don't have to be a last supper eater. You probably do that also since you're always telling yourself that you're going to start a new diet on Monday. And that is when you stuff yourself with all the food you can find on Sunday because Monday it's supposed to change and be different. All of those unhealthy behaviors, they don't have to be a part of your life. But the only way to release them is to heal the inside, heal the inner self. Heal why did you start doing this in the first place? Because believe it or not, not everybody thinks like you do. Not everybody feels like you do about food. Not everybody behaves like you do. Not everyone is overweight. Not everyone is obsessed with food. There are actually people on the planet who are naturally slender, who they've never had a weight problem. They eat what they want, when they want. They exercise because it feels good to them, and they do it regularly. But it's not any big deal. It's just a part of their life. They enjoy eating healthy foods. You know, they do have a cookie here and there. It's not, it's not some kind of a huge thing. I know that that sounds unreal to you and it also would be very difficult for you to do because you don't have the inner self part taken care of yet. But the good news is that once you do that then doing the part on the outside to just live a healthy lifestyle which means no more telling yourself every Monday is going to be different. You're just living it now what would that be like for you? So you learned a great deal on the show today. You answered those questions for yourself. You wrote them down on paper. You learned how old your food and weight struggles are. You learned why it is that you have never been able to solve this problem on your own. You learned that the quickest and easiest way to get a weight loss mindset which will give you struggle-free permanent success with your weight, the quickest and easiest way to do that is to simply work with a professional mentor who already has the proven system to lead you out of the muckmire you're in and lead you into the place of struggle-free success with your weight. You also learn that your first step towards that freedom from the struggle can be found at discovery-session.com. You can go there now and fill out the application for a complimentary weight loss discovery session. That is your first step. Shout outs. How do you get a shout out from me on the JoLynn Braley Show? It's really easy. Go to thejoelynnbraleyshow.com. 
click like to like our Facebook page and I will give you a shout out on an upcoming show. It's very easy, it's fun, and it's a way to say hi and acknowledge you and thank you for listening to the JoLynn Braley Show. Be sure and head on over to iTunes. If you're subscribed in iTunes, go ahead and give the show a five-star rating. I fully believe this is a five-star show. I am here to help you understand that a little diet, a food diet, is only 10% of the solution to get the body that you want. 90% of the solution is your mindset. While you're giving us a five-star review, go ahead and share your biggest aha that you've gained from the show. Tell us how your awareness has shifted away from diet mentality, thinking that a food diet would solve all of your overeating struggles, to the truth that your struggles are 90% mindset. Next week's episode, Am I Doomed to Be Fat? This is a great episode for you if you have the belief that you can't lose weight. Great episode to tune into. This is JoLynn Braley, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, also known as the FAT Release Coach. You can go to fearlessfatloss.com to learn more. Grab your free five-day e-course while you're there. It will help you answer the question, is your mindset fit or F-A-T? And I'll share with you in that e-course what you can do about it if you've never been able to lose weight and keep it off for good. Here's to your best life in your ideal body.